Was William Bonac robbed at the 2022 Arnold's Classics? He did, in fact, place second to Brandon Curry. And taking nothing away from Brandon Curry, but it seems to me that the general public and uh, fans, uh, YouTube channels even, they all make videos and everybody says the same thing, that William Bonac was, in fact, robbed. Well, a message to the judges... If any of them actually ever watched my videos. Hey, hey, why not? Kai Green watched my video one time. So it's no stretch of the imagination that one of the judges are going to stumble on these videos. And listen, for us as fans to care about this, it creates buzz, creates stir, creates controversy, it creates attention towards bodybuilding. We do this because we love the sport. So there is no disrespect at all meant to the judges just goes to show you guys how much we do care about the sport and how much it does mean to us but enough about the explanation let us dive into the meat and potatoes of this operation let us look at all the best footage all the best uh pictures rather of william bonak and brandon curry and this is the pre-show this is the first day the, the friday show and we will also be taking a look at these two dudes in the finals so We'll have the best uh, best bet on seeing if William Bonac was robbed. Now, structure structurally speaking, waistline, the arms, not too many are going to defeat Brandon Curry at all in the history of the IFBB. I mean, this is impressive, guys. But muscle separation, maybe conditioning, even in the upper body, William Bonac could be better and or is better rather not could be better. He he is better in that aspect. And in the wheels, his wheels are much more complete when you look at the calves. There is a dryness of Brandon Curry. He doesn't have the muscle separation in the quads, but there is definitely a dryness of him that you might be able to see more in person. You can see it in these close-up pictures. Go to the finals. And this, unfortunately, not the best pictures possible. But you can, even, even in the blurry picture, you can see there is the vascularity level on Bonac or uh, Curry's quads, rather. I don't know why I mix up their two them two names, but yeah, he he looks a little better maybe in that aspect. But his midsection looks a little wishy washy. Does uh, Brandon Curry and Bonac? He looks like he has the that pop that wow factor. But make no mistake about it, guys. That look, the structure, and the the muscle of the arms of uh, your Brandon Curry's and the lats. Make no mistake about it. He's winning in the upper body. If it, Well, the condition, though. There is a lot of pop and wow for uh, your William Bonac. But at the end of the day, they're probably going to give the front double bicep to Brendan Curry. Now, the front lat spread is also generally a Curry shot. But like I was saying in my videos leading up to the finals of the Arnold's, the, the, the pre-show... Pitchers, things of that nature. I was not that impressed with Brandon Curry in the upper body. Now his wheels, I did the comparison between him and the Olympia. His wheels did look maybe bigger. And the, the muscle separation might have been even better. So his wheels are looking good. They're more of a match for Bonax. But upper body, he didn't have that, that sting that he generally does in particular in this shot. So William Bonac actually fighting him i mean look at the muscle separation in bonax arms the chest and even in the abs and the lats themselves more of a v taper of course his legs are always going to be more complete when you look at the calves there's just no way it's happening as far as that's concerned go to the finals hmm there's 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 less pop less sting for curry you'd think that to win the show he would need to look better but a shot like this, I don't know. I mean, take a look, guys. This is the finals, and William Bonac seems to be winning the front lat spread. I mean, this is not a weak shot for Bonac, mind you. I don't know why I'm so down on this pose, but I mean, for him. But I mean, Brendan Curry, he, he should be dwarfing everybody in the front lat spread, and it's just not how this pose evolved, I guess, for Curry, for the lack of a better term. So, coming out of the front, a couple of shots. It looks pretty close between these two guys. Go to the side. 
And much like all the shots, this is going to be the the same explanation that I give for all of the poses. Curry, structure, muscles even. Well, not the muscle in the arms, but I mean the chest muscles. He's going to be defeating William Bonac. But on this night, William Bonac's muscle separation, his condition, far better. And when you look at the arms, it's men against boys. Look at the calves, for goodness sakes. Do they go to the finals? Now here, Curry does look a little bit improved, I would say, from the, the pre-show, the Friday to Saturday. Of course, this is Saturday. It was a two-day show. First time, I thought, in my recollection, they did that at the Arnold Classic. Bonac looks, still, guys, he looks like he's in better condition. Actually, in this situation, we do have a picture of these guys. I think this is when they were doing their routines. So, it is, in fact, from the Saturday show, the finals. And I gotta say, William Bonac looks just as good as he did on Friday. And Curry, now in that other shot, he did look maybe a little bit better. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I maybe prefer his look that he brought for the Friday show. Now, this is from the routines, like I said. And that's another question. Who had the better routine? Neither guy sucked. Neither guy had the best routine. Bonac Looked like he was trying to wrap a lasso around the moon and bring the moon. You want the moon, Mary? Mary? Hmm. Yeah. See? See? Anyway. Anyway. You guys you, you guys know what I'm saying. Go to the next side shot. And probably a good chance that you, you don't know what I'm saying. So I'm saying. Wow. Curry looks good. He was always good. His leg, guys. Look at his leg. Compare this with any other side tricep that he hit previous to this. His wheel looks massive. It looks swollen. Hard and grainy as well. But that William Bonac is a, a creation of striated, thick, raw muscle. Look at the, the tricep. Just like when Arnold was describing Franco Colombo. Ooh, food for thought. The Franco Colombo Trophy, the most muscular award, went to William Bonac. I gotta say, guys, I'm impressed with all of the shots that Bonac generally loses against Curry. And sometimes he wins the side tricep. Go to the finals. Wow, yeah, same thing. Curry might look a little bit better in the upper body here. I think maybe his upper body maybe dried out. In certain shots, it looks that way anyway. His abs look a little bit more separated. Could be. Now, arm for arm, if that's important to you, go look at the other picture, too. This reign's true. It's boys against men. William Bonac. William Bonac is awesome in that aspect. And his arms were full at the Arnold's. That's the front. That's the side. Take it for what it is. Go to William Bonac territory. The back. Yeah, I went there. William Bonac territory. I generally side for William Bonac in in both of the back shots between these two guys because it's kind of a debate who's winning in the back itself. Curry traps awesome with great width. But you got to think, he stands a lot taller in this shot. And when you're talking William Bonac, the Latin insertions, so thick, so rich. Premium choice, delectable Latin surgeons. Rich creamery. And when you look at the lower half, those glutes, if you don't think glutes matter in a matchup, take a look at these two dudes. It's muscle versus not much muscle at all. Then the tie-ins, very impressive. Go to the Saturday show. Same thing here, guys. This is not a winning physique here. This is not a winning uh, rear lat spread for Brandon Curry. Look at the lower half, guys. I mean, I can be polite. Hey, I love Brandon Curry. He's awesome. He's very respectful, great representative of the sport. But look at the lower halves, guys. Actually, this we have another shot of both of these poses in the Saturday show when they were doing their routines, if I'm not mistaken. And this is what I'm saying, guys. Back, you can argue all day long. I would still side with Bonac, William, in the lower half, there can really be no argument, guys. This is a very impressive and complete lower half. Very complete. I mean, look at the calves, guys. There can be no argument. This is just an awesome back development. And, hey, I'm not hating on Brandon Curry. His lats themselves, they reach out probably farther. Further or further. They reach out wider than your William Bonax. 
go to the next back shot. And there is a definite argument, like I said in the rear lot as well, definite argument for uh, Curry winning in the back development. Look at the traps. He has a superior set of traps. He has superior width. He does not have the best detail between these two guys in the in the lats themselves. In the arms, I mean, look, look at those Brandon Curry arms. Outstanding. Out of sight. And again, like I said in the rear lat, there can be no argument. Bonac all day long in the lower half. Go to the Saturday show. And yeah, aesthetically pleasing, very nice. But this is open bodybuilding. Since when are the judges awarding the aesthetics over raw, thick muscle? And conditioned muscle, I might add. Well, I guess when they already wrote the name of Brandon Curry on the trophy. <laughs> they probably did, you know. Look at the traps on Curry, though, guys. I'm not hating on the guy. It's just a situation where I generally thought I was going to hear William Bonac's name because I believed that he did do enough. When you you guys seen the back shots, I think he did enough to defeat uh, Brendan Curry. Go to the abs and thigh. And then you take it all away in a shot like this. But it's not conditioning that, we, that we're, we're mad at William Bonac. William... Condition-wise, he has some strawations, he has some feathering in the quads. It's just a situation where his midsection may be his, his one weak point. His Achilles heel, if you will. And Brandon Curry looks outstanding. Top 10, perhaps. Go to the Saturday show. Now, I appreciate William Bonac. You know, he's giving us a look at what he has. And those lat insertions, he has some body parts, some calves. He just does not have the ab set up of your Brandon Curry. And he never will. Just like Curry will never have those calves of William Bonac. Take it for what it is, guys. You can't win a bodybuilding competition on one shot. And it's not like he has a bubble gut. Go to the, the most muscular. Yeah, it's not like he has a bubble gut. He just does not have the most aesthetically pleasing abs and thigh. And this shot here, I'm telling you right now, you might think I missized it, but Curry was down in size. I'm telling you right now, he was not that general, generally massive Brandon Curry that you usually see. And William lo was looking sharp. He was looking thick, full. Go to the Saturday. And this is side by side, guys. You see? He looks small. Keep in mind, he's bending at the knees. He's leaning forward in this shot. And William stands nice and tall. William stands nice and tall. Now, I will mention this. Of course, like I said, I'm not hating on Brandon Curry, but he did win. He, you know, he did get the most money, he got the trophy. But look, in all seriousness, you can see vascularity in the legs in this old blurry old shot here. And if you can see it in this shot, you could see it in real life. Now, here is from the Saturday show, finals, close-up shot. And look, guys, look, take a close look at Brandon Curry and the wheels. No, he does not have the the rivets or the, the strawations, the feathering in the quads, the muscle separation, things of that nature. But he has that hard, grainy vascularity level. His midsection might be a little bit more filled out. I think he really carved up for the next day. He went all out. And look, it, it worked in a way for certain shots. I mean, those delts, the, 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 the pecs, the arms even. Well, Bonax arms. <laughs> I think Bonax arms never looked quite so good. So it is of some debate for sure, guys. Was it robbery? Do we need to get the law involved? I don't think so. I just think that us as fans, we're used to the more conditioned, the more complete guy winning, and the guy with the more aesthetically pleasing physique, sometimes to our dismay, does in fact lose. And in this situation, I guess the conditioning was close enough. That they could and they should award uh, aesthetics some points anyway. And keep in mind, this is the Arnold Classic. And if there is an event where they focus more on the aesthetics, it would be the Arnold Classic. I mean, yes, Nick Walker won. But I mean, look who plays second. Anyway, <laughs> not bashing on that guy. Once again, hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Hey, yeah, I think Bonac won. But is it a robbery? Mm, less of a robbery, more my choice, I would say. 
Hit thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to the channel. Have a fantastic day.